I want to reinstate today that the, the cabinet conclusion clearly states that Cabot development had a surplus on the parcels of land. It was already in existence. Those leases were issued to Capestate Limited in 1973 for 75 years. There is a 28-year grace period and time um, remaining on those leases. And basically, the cabinet conclusion is an extension of those leases to another 75 years. Secret Beach, Kazamba Beach, Donkey Beach, none of those beaches will list to Cabot development. So in, a, in essence, the beaches remain public. In fact, all the beaches on the island remain public so that citizens have unlimited access to the beaches. There should not be any impediments of our citizens for the use of our beaches for recreational purposes. So I want to re reiterate again, the cabinet conclusion is very clear that it is the existing leases that was extended to Cabot on condition that Cabot enters into agreement with Capa State Limited for surrender of the head lease to the Crown so that the Department of Physical Planning and Cabinet can further give or make adjustments to the lease and new terms and agreements to the lease for an additional 75 years. No lease of Secret Beach, Kazaba Beach, Donkey Beach, or any of those other beaches in that area was leased to Cabot. I also want to let St. Lucians know that this is not the first time that Queen's Chain is leased to developers or to local persons who own property adjoining to the Queen's Chain. This is not a new practice. This is not something that this government um, initiated as we came into office. If I, on, in front of me right now there, I have several leases, Queen's Chain leases, dating back to the 1970s. The lease between Cape State and the state was in 1973. I have it right there, and I'm, I can make copies available to you all for your information. I also have um, leases there in 19, 1989. Then we have leases of the Queen's Chain, Queen's property in the 2000s. You have a lease of, in 2000 there between the state and the business for the Queen's Chain. You have infiotic leases for 75 years, 99 years. You know, in 2005, we had leases. In 2004, we had leases of the Queen's Chain. 2006, we had leases of the Queen's Chain. I could go on to this other, this other um, section right there. This, those other leases. We had leases in 2008, emphatic leases of the Queen's Chain. We had leases in 2011, 99 year emphatic leases two hotels, two developers. We had infatuatic leases issued in 2008 again, in 2009, you know, 2014. So this is not something new. This is not a new practice, it's not a new policy. This has been a, a policy, an initiative, a practice of governments since the 1970s of leasing of the Queen's Chain to developers, to persons, who own property adjacent to the Queen's Chain. Again, all beaches are public. There is unrestricted access to the beaches, either by, by foot or vehicular access. There are certain properties where you do not have vehicle, vehicular right of way on the map sheet or the land registry. So persons usually access those beaches by foot. There are beaches where there is unrestricted vehicular access. If you come in by sea, you could access any beach on the island for recreational use. But I want to also stress that recreational use does not mean you could go to the beach and enjoy the pleasure of the beach how you want, in whatever um, manner that you, you wish to. For example, there are persons who go to the beach with horses, riding horses, 
on the beach amongst people, children, have horses in the water. They drive their vehicles all the way onto the, to the shoreline, you know, restricting access and the free movement of people on the beach. This is not an orderly and responsible way or manner in enjoying the beach. But the beach remains public to each and everyone. Yeah. I can assure St. Lucians, Cabot have submitted a master plan. They have submitted um, proposals to the Department of Physical Planning, and we are taking it in stages in processing the various proposals. I can assure St. Lucians that there will not be any restricted access to the Kazaba Beach. When we have finalized all the proposals issued by Cabot to the Department of Physical Planning and to the government. Yes, well, I know Marjorie's um, lease um, started in 2001, where she got a first um, five-year lease of the, the area, the section of that Queen's Chain where she currently occupies, which was renewed, and subsequently it was renewed every year. She currently has a one-year lease on that, um, on that property, on that block and parcel number. I have never spoken to, to Miss Marjorie. I only saw Miss Marjorie on the television in some news, um, news clip. Um, I know for sure we are not going to infringe on the rights of Miss Marjorie or prevent Miss Marjorie from um, earning a living, which she has been doing so for about 20 years or more in this particular area. There will be discussions with Miss Marjorie and the developers and also with the parliamentary representative, Honorable Motut, and the Department of Physical Planning on the way forward. But we are going to do everything within our powers to work with the developer, with Ms. Marjorie, and all stakeholders who currently have establishments on the beach at Kazaba. But I want to reinstate again, the beach is public. There is going to be unrestricted access to the Kazaba beach, to Donkey Beach, to Secret Beach by the citizens of St. Lucia. Well, I heard of that, and um, the technocrats in the department have... Um, expressed um, their concerns about that to me and um, we are working with the developers to ensure that if there is this um, this right there this historical um, preservation of um, the cemetery or the burial ground that it is protected that no development is built upon it and that should be part of the history and the ecological aspect and um, so on um, um, development of the the Kazaba beach and the Kabot development. Well, I am not certain of um, uh, of that. Again, the technocrats in the Department of Physical Planning um, are the ones working with the developer and of course the the DCA. So they would be more familiar with the 18 hole and exactly where it ends and so on. So that is something that they will be more able to to answer to the um, to the location of the 18 hole and donkey beach but i want to also um, make it clear that i have spoken to to the department of physical planning um, the ps dps i'm um, the head of the sections that we need to look at a, a policy on the way forward of the use of the queen's chain mm -hmm. and other aspects of um, public beaches on the island so i'm hoping that very soon we will be able to come to the public as a department and lay out a policy on the way forward for the use, the rental, the leasing, and so on of Queen's Chain and the public beaches in St. Lucia. Yes, this happens all the time. They come with a master plan, but when it is reviewed by the technical committee in the Ministry of Planning, it goes to the board of the DCA. Many times they have to tweak it and change it because it doesn't um, conform to the rules, the regulations of the planning unit uh, or, um, or, the, or the, the planning um, laws of St. Lucia. So that happens all the time.